the storm pick. There's not a lot that's going to hold him down. Yeah, looks good for a storm game as long as he can get online, get some items. Fate. They're going to go on him in the X ray. In fact, now it's up top as well. DY does get dragged in. Afro Ninja makes the move up towards top, and that will get him first blood. The bounty ring. Yang's going to come him. in with the hoof stomp. See if he's got the damage. Yafo has got the fairy fire. Turns around and slowing him down. He's trying his best to get away. Can he do so? Oh, he Ooh. cannot. Yang will get the kill. FNG's going to chase him down. Does not have the move speed to keep on top of him. So Yang will escape. Grimstroke, Beastmaster combo. You know, if you get a raw target and you get that storm in with the ink swell, they're, they they're going to the get the pick -offs. They are going to look towards Paparazzi. Gets the cooldown after FNG. Just gets blown up at the front of the fight. Old Aqua J before uses the raw on to fade, but there's no follow up whatsoever. A bit of a useless raw there, as now he'll just be chased down and he's dead. He had Whoa. a tough time in lane and now. They'll find DY. Should be able to get this one. He's, he's got the bonds and the golem, but yeah, there's, there's not going to be any backup for him. They'll just accept the support loss. That's... All right. I, it's it's going to be one of those things that if they lose the game, you're going to go back and say, why did he get Ags first? I mean, but, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I, like, there's there's a reason why you don't do this when you're playing these, these roots. Centaur. Isn't, he's fine. Tanky. He's well, it's, actually, it's no, he's starting, not it's Yeah, old Aqua JB falls in with the brother. They do get the, the Golem out return, but... With the Stampede, yeah, he's actually staying alive. He's able to get out of there. And deep Paparazzi coming into the front lines. Fade with a beautiful relocate. Getting the fight back into the hands of Vici Gaming as they'll take down Immersion. The rest of Gambit having to run away. FNG dying during the split. The rest of Gambit just have to do their best to hide. Old Aqua before is going for the TP out with the Rocket Barrage. Oh, Ooh. they don't quite have the damage. He is able to get away. But you can't go, like, you can't go Aghanims first. On Death Rock, you can go Aghanims first. They get the Silence, Apo. Ah, they've got more than enough damage enough. bringing in Paparazzi as well. I mean, Gambit, Ooh, they've gone for this smoke up top, but there's nothing else. Oh, they're going to get him on the way back. Is he going to bring the Gyro with him? Does he know? Let's see. No, Ooh, fade knew. smart. Doesn't bring anyone back with him. He goes in on his own, knows it's very likely. Dream place to fight, though. Yang's in, but they've got the zip for from Alpha Ninja. He's going to look towards Yang. Yang turning towards Alka Alka J before. They've got the silence as well. There's the Golem drop. They've already killed off one. The Beastmaster's out and down for 30 seconds. They'll turn towards Immersion. Homing missiles upon him as well as the Golem. Alpha Ninja trying to find someone on the back lines, but he just doesn't have the damage to outdo the sustain and heal that Vici Gaming's lineup has. As they'll now move into the pit with two dead on Gambit, Vici Gaming can walk in, take the Roche, get the Aegis on Paparazzi. No way, Gambit. Don't, don't yeah, fight they, this. They, they can't go for Roche. They, <laughs> Ooh, they the sort one of have ward. to concede it. It spots the, it spots the Hawk. He's going to pop the, the oh, fear, but he actually misses. He messed up. He's able to run past the Yang. He's just straight in on top of the main hero. There's no sort of fear or send back from the bear. So the Hawk Ooh. gets taken out. Skeleton army cooldown or whatever it is. The blinking forward by Ori aggressively looking for afterlife. See, if they can save him, Immersion's trying his best, but there's already a relocate coming in on top of him. Faye bringing him Paparazzi, Immersion's out of it. Old Aqua JB4 will turn with the roar. Does manage to get himself away from Ori. Full BKB on Ori now too, he is super safe, and they're looking to take a fight down bottom. Ori boots travels down to join them, and it is a quick kill onto Afterlife. Yeah, Paparazzi just racking up the gold on top of this Butterfly. He's they having... just haven't been able to get really much done at all. They... They were looking to sort of find that split push opening to find that top racks, but to, to be honest, I don't think VG Gaming cared. They probably knew it was going to go down. They were like, we can let them have it. We don't need to worry about that lane. Just keep focused on our game plan. Keep the pressure on this mid and bottom. As they'll move into the tier three, there's a buyback available. They can't touch the cores. They just cannot touch any of them. They're just on top of FNG. Silence. Is he even going to get a chance to get out of here? He has been glimmered, but the stun from the homing missile holds him down. He does not get a chance to get the split off. He has got buyback. I see someone pinging tier four is on Gambit. I mean, the hacks up top. He's going in with the bear. We'll see how much he can do. He does not have a lot of irons for it. Bottom lane. The primus split's being used. They're trying to keep Fiji Gaming preoccupied here. Put the Beastmaster back in, but the melee racks have been taken. They're up pinging. top, the range racks do go. See one more the hat can find up here. He's already TPing back. He's Ori TPing already. back. He's keeping the bear out on the tier four tower, but the bottom lane of Rax has been taken. Bear does manage to do half the damage of one of the tier fours. So definitely keeping that split push stream alive. But overall, base of Gambit certainly in the worst position. Immersion keeps himself alive with that glimmer. It will zip in with the roar as well. Golem gets dropped down onto the Beastmaster. Old Aqua J before on the retreat. Homing missiles heading his way, and with the beat down from the chaotic offering, he's dead. He still has his buyback. Top lane now, the focus swifted GG. towards him, and indeed they tap out. They tried their best to, to come back in with some sort of split play, but it just wasn't enough. Fichi Gaming just ahead at all stages of the game.
Let's see. Let's see if Gambit can indeed push it to a game three. Or Fiji Game is going to be able to get that 2 0. It's so much. And Ooh, if you can play the lane right, you are going to have a very big advantage. Ooh. And Afo Ninja gets greedy. Tried to run back in with the Flame Guard. They're going to need something. That's, That's 24 weird. to 14, 11 to 3. The difference is massive. Top lane, Yang. Able to nuke down FNG. They're bringing two heroes over to try to go for this gank to try to help. But Fade's also here. They're looking to set up the wraparound, though. See, Ori. He's got another trap laid down. But yeah, with the merchant and FNG here, they can put a stop to it. Ori now having to back away. He's got refraction up in a second. That, not, he's going to get it off in he time. He will. The nightmare finishes, and he's gets off with the refraction. He'll live in faith. He, gets he the ends up killing Afo Ninja. Oh, my goodness. And disaster, disaster in the mid lane for Gambit. He, he can he's just walk to. it off. Bane, FNG, he goes for the nightmare. He's able to still right click, but obviously the, the CM isn't. Refraction was still unavailable. I think if FNG didn't nightmare and just Might have been him a and Immersion right click down Ori. Bottom. Trying to poke with Paparazzi, but Paparazzi Virgin? just turns and kills the CM. And Afterlife can't walk on either. He'll die too if he goes for it. The pulse. There's Top Immersion looking to try to make a play here, but oh, Paparazzi, Paparazzi's already here. He's come up here. They it's sort of swapped hits. it around in Immersion. As soon as he's back on the map and up to a different lane, he thought he has escaped the horrors of this Lightning Pony, but Paparazzi, he's got his number. But it makes sense as well, because Afterlife, he's just hit the six. And, and this is sort of the point and the skill that could get them get nice them kills. Dodge. Afterlife it does dodge the spear. There they lock down, there is Fade. He's got the shackles, the roar from Old, Old Coolidge does allow them to kill the Shaman. And they'll get a kill. They will lose the Beastmaster for it, so not necessarily a, a game-breaking trade that's going to get Gambit back into this, but it's something. They get a kill, especially when they don't have the roar. Still on cooldown at the moment. They see the back line, though. They do see with the Hawk. Half life. Right, that DY, he's just going to drop the Golem down. Uh, trying to dissuade Gambit from sticking around, trying to look for plays. He's going to come in. It's now the arena down. Gets the two of them. Oh, Afterlife using the roar. Not really much he can do to turn this one around. Is already stuck in the arena. They're going to lose both FNG and Afterlife. It's Gambit oh choosing to try and put pressure on one of the more difficult parts of the map. And it hurts them. And they're losing their towers top. Paparazzi pushed the full one and he started pressuring the tier two as and well. Now with the blue tiger on Ori, they get another one. 10 to 1, 6k lead. And they're actually going to walk up into the enemy jungle and then smoke down oh. to clear out theirs. I feel we may see some Gambit players dying once again. Mm -hmm. They had the in their way. In the area. They have the disengage that oh, they yeah. could They've, they've oh, got to get the straight out. Oh, he doesn't actually have the song skilled. He doesn't have it skilled? Well, they oh. missed the arena of blood, so that's a good bit of news for FNG. Immersion does get the ult off. He's now been hexed. He's been focused out for Ninja, trying to get some damage off for the Fiend's Grip. The Fiend's Grip. Onto Ori. They will get him. TA is dead. Alpha Ninja, he will he be able to level. escape? He's trying to get away. Slider Fist in the runaway. Afterlife will be able to TP out. Paparazzi is out farming on his this. own. I mean, they saw the smoke up. He actually is going to get I caught did, from this did, Yeah. Maybe not looking at the map, or maybe just not expecting the straight movement across, but... Make it that little quicker to take it down. Gambit will head over towards the pit. So what they can do already, fade out with a hex. Serpent was going to be dropped as well as the carry offering. They're just keeping Gambit at bay, making sure they can't get in. Ori jumps in with a blink. Good hits onto the two of them. Afterlife's oh already dead. Afro Ninja having to try and dance his way out with the slide of fist. He'll give, he'll be able to, to get out of there. Back towards the pit. Ichi Gaming will head over. Dahax trying to lead in. Jump forward from Afro Ninja. Goes Apple. in. Fully commits. He fully commits with the remnants. He's what? just dead before the song can even come out. That was... Super over aggressive. Paparazzi was standing on top of him. Like, there's no way they you get that lost as well. They're crumbling once more around the pit here. Gambit. Immersion. He's trying. Hiding in the trees. There's not really any sort of play he can go for. Maybe he can try and steal the kill with a freezing field. I don't realize that they cannot try and push for more as of now. In fact, they're going to be chased upon. Jump for Fade. Gets the Hex. Quick burst from Yang with the shield. That's Immersion dead and gone. 17 to 3. Look at Fade, just non-stop. He sees another hero. He's like, I'm going. I'm yeah, looking the, for kills. He gets the war trap on FNG the as Fade, well. Shaman, it this is, guy is it's so good at Shaman. It's something we've seen so many times. He, uh, he's, he's definitely one of the best. Agreed. And Vici smoked up so looking for get, kills. Oh, it's an FNG. Fade jumps in quick with a hex. Dahak has got the song to save it. They, well, now FNG, they do DY, cancelling both TPs with the rock cast from outside the range of the Song of the Siren. Shackles there from Fade. Dahak is dead. FNG, can he escape this? They'll try and get him with the trap slow. There's another jump in from Fade. Another hex. Another kill for Ori. 
as it just is not working out at all for Gambit. They cannot get anything done. They cannot run away. And no mercy there. And not the reacting straight in on mid. Jump oh forward God. onto Afro Ninja. They're just killing the corners by themselves. Yeah, this. And it's, yeah, it's 50, we've, we, we, we've had some brutal games here at the Major. Yeah. We really have. We've had a few games now where teams have just been absolutely destroyed. No mercy whatsoever coming out from ROTK and the boys. FNG's out. And we can probably expect some Gs coming soon. They do still have tier twos in the other two lanes. Last fight, that's what this seems like. Last fight, try to get some type of catch if we don't. They've already found Afterlife on the back lines. A stun comes out from Paparazzi. Afterlife's dead and gone before he can get a single spell out. Yang forcing them apart with the spear. Afanigi's up on the high ground. Immersion's dead, triple kill for Paparazzi. They're just racking up the KDA right now, VG Gaming. This. You know, he's spamming out that, standing out that scoreboard. Appa Ninja hands off the keyboard. GG is called. This game, this series, not even close. Vici Gaming entirely dominating Gambit. Yeah.